if you are interested in real estate, um, the first thing I would say is to do research um, because real estate is the one investment that you can make and all you have to do is buy in the right location and it appreciates and you can earn a tremendous amount of money off of it. But the right neighborhood is combined with a, a lot of different things. So you wanna look for properties that are in neighborhoods that have good schools um, because schools are the number one thing that most people consider when they're buying a home. For all you young ladies that are 10 to 13 years old, just remember that you're gonna be the reason that property values go up. So we want you to go to school and thrive, test well, do well, because you will be the number one reason someone would decide to move into your neighborhood or any other neighborhoods. When those test scores are, are great and exceptional, people look at your neighborhood all day. And so your real estate investment, when you get old enough, will be able to appreciate. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is that it's a neighborhood that has, um, in my mind, diversity. And not necessarily racial diversity, but diversity of culture, of different things. Because you want a neighborhood that's welcoming to everybody. that, And you want property that is in a, a place where there's nobody that feels excluded. Um, because you'll always have that synergy there. Um, so look for those kind of properties as well. I think the other thing that you want to make sure is that you have, you buy real estate in a district where the city, the government is making investments in that neighborhood because there are some things that are going to be beyond your control. You can have the prettiest piece of property that you want, but if your streets are raggedy and people are having to hit potholes to get there, they won't buy there. So you want to make sure that, that's, that the city government is making investments in your neighborhood. But most importantly, when you walk into that home, if you don't get that feeling that this is a place that you would live, then you probably don't want to invest in it. Um, and so the key is investing in places that you would want to live and you feel like are welcome into you as an individual, um, because then you can make it whatever you want to make it. Um, but I think most importantly is to buy in the right location and to make sure that the people around your property um, that you're investing in have the right attitude about the neighborhood and that they're going to be welcoming and open any person, regardless of race, religion, sex, origin, doesn't matter. Um, and so I think that's the key.